Tillman now is trying to fight Mike Tyson. He should be doing a lot more movement than he is now. He's allowing Mike Tyson to trap him in the corner. At the Hail Mary right hand, I know I'm going to land it somewhere here. And Tillman never responded at all to Richard Steele's count. Another right hand lands. Body shot almost knocks Lee through the ropes. Jackson's power is simply oh. devastating Lee. And there's a perfect right hand counter off the ropes. And Benji and Seven stops the fight. I'm thinking that Andy still has the power to come back. And with the big heart that he has, exchanges a right hook for overhand right. And down goes Jackson. Benji and Seven didn't bother was a, with a count as Jackson lay face down, twitching on the canvas. And scores it again. The legs of Norton wobble. Norton is hurt in his own corner. Cooney trying to measure him. Misses two uppercuts, but scores with combinations of left stand Norton straight up. Norton is about to drop. Norton is on his knees and finally slumps to the corner. He is not going to get up from this. Now Cooney turns Norton around, and once he does that, he misses those two uppercuts. I think of the last punch he missed. Well, right here we see a lot of punches being thrown, and right here I think the fight, the referee should have jumped in. Look at the punches that are being thrown. before he hit the canvas. Well, but it plainly is intent on staying away now. Because That's the right hand, Walker. <laughs> And Jefferson comes out. Can he stay on his feet? Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, oh, what a left that's hook it. shot. That oh, is no, it. no count necessary. He went to the body when nothing else was open, and that left hook was just good night. Because Lumbaugh used to straight up throwing the left hook, and there it was. And he was hurt, Jefferson. Yeah, he was hurt. He was hurt. Good he night, Maurice. If he punches, just keep your hands high. They're telling him not to counter punch. Boom! Boom! The supporters thought he could have done the holy field if he had decided to be more aggressive. With the left hand, by firing aggressively, keeping his left hand in Rockman's face. Listed as having a reach advantage here. We'll see how he uses it. Two with a big left hook, and Rui's in trouble. Tua comes right at him, another big bomb, and Ruiz is down. This could almost be over now. Quite a bit right there. That had Tyson written all over it, the way it was thrown and everything by Tua. Now he knows he's done the damage here. He comes right in, and before John Ruiz can recover, Tua is all over him. One more right hand, another one in there, and that one... Now 
gets his feet back and tries to roar back the nail pack out with the right hand. Oh! That's another knockdown. He's not getting up, Jim. He get up. He's not getting up. When he's coming, and here comes Marquez following with the overhand right. You see that? Pacquiao Bear, missed right the right the hand. He knew he was coming. He just caught his rhythm because that's what has scored. Since Sergio Martinez knocked out Paul Williams on November 20, 2010 in Atlantic City. Throughout the whole fight is that Huerta was beating Whitaker to his game. Oh, what a left hand by Whitaker. And he takes advantage with four more straight lefts. Arthur McKinney watching. And it's over. It is over. He's helpless there on the ropes. He couldn't escape. And he wasn't returning any fire. Stopping right there would have been okay. That's okay. That would have done. That would have been nice. I think Arthur would like to have that one back. Ready for I'm sure going to be bigger test to come this year. Yeah, I like the idea. I like the idea of that Walsh Smith fight. That'd be very nice, wouldn't it? Oh, oh what about that? What about that? And he hits him as, he, as he's on his way down. Yeah, he's out on the first shot, John. The out of the Thank ball. goodness. And now the crowd really can celebrate. A devastating finish from Mitchell Smith. This is probably the tamest round of the entire fight. Not there, there's Perez. Locked again. Perez is locked in. against the ropes, almost helpless. A minute to go. And they're going to stop it. They're going to stop it as Perez drags to the canvas. Using every inch. Oh, what a punch! You'll be able to see um, that uh, you pack a fair old dig, Julian. No one's ever done that to him before. I knew that. Woo, that was a beauty. You the fight upside down, didn't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. I know he was very, very confident, you know? He felt that... Body shots from Frotch. Groves trying to probe upstairs. Frotch getting the better of it when they meet in the center of the ring now. Oh, good and right down hand. goes Groves. Carl Frotch imagined this moment over and over and over these last seven months. As we said before the fight, a revenge motive for Groves, but a revenge motive for Frotch too. As surely as Groves was at rest for a few moments after this right hand. What a shot. Perfectly timed shot. Kids, don't keep your left hand on your hip in the middle of an exchange. He's also looked so much bigger than he does. Yeah, I mean, he's got a 15-pound weight advantage. That's Every right. time he lands a shot, it's, it's abundantly clear. And Benji Estevez isn't going to bother with a count here as Gamache's eyes were closed. Into the fight. Right uppercut. And you see why we were worried about Joey Gamash well before he hit the canvas. The uppercut was perfect, George. And not only that, he's getting his whole body into it, like one of those home run hitters throw a baseball. A hit Good luck. Hey, we're going to take a look at how it ends. Yeah. Williams throws a left, but Martinez beats him with a the short, left. Shorter punch. Yeah, I thought it was a right. Shorter, shorter punch. Martinez's left got there first. And Williams was out from the moment the punch hit him. Seventeen pro fights, and Morrison has in his 27. Mercer pounding away. Morrison may be going. Morrison is gone. What's happening? 
right there, uh, I was just trying to get, get in on him because he was covering up, and he was getting tired, and that's the opening right there over the top. And I hit him, and he sort of grabbed me and leaned, and right there, I knew I had him. So I just come with all right hands. I just knew I had him with that right there. Ray, when he started lunging, did you try to make him run into your fists? Oh, uh, yeah. I tried to, well, I tried to do it like counter, but oh. coming in at the same time, and it worked. Everything went perfect. I thought the referee let it go a little too far. Yeah. The guy could have been killed right there. Take a look at this. This is a perfect time. That and was super slow yeah, motion. Yeah, somebody like this, since he was at 130 pounds. 